Of course, you can do great video content for social media using just your smartphone, but there is a limit and sometimes can be unhandy, can be tricky and hard. We are going to talk about the solution, but first, if you decide to create video content with your smartphone, you need some important accessory. First, use a simple metallic phone holder that has a cold shoe on top and a mounting thread at the bottom. This is important because maybe you want to attach your phone to a small tripod and you need that mounting thread and you need that cold shoe if you want to attach a small microphone to your phone. Now, this looks good and affordable, but it can be unhandy because when you shoot something, Maybe someone will call you or message you and mm, that's, that's an issue. And you also all the time need to mount the phone on this phone holder, attach your microphone, attach your small tripod. It's pretty unhandy. But the quality can be enough for social media if you want to shoot your product, if you want to take an interview, to take a testimonial or something for your business. But it's super important to have a good light. This is the most important thing when you shoot with your phone, to have a very good light. I know we see a lot of videos and articles and they say we shoot an amazing cinematic video using just our iPhone. Yes, you can do it, but they created there the perfect lighting conditions. They created the perfect environment for a shoot. When you shoot something in your office or at a conference, in a hotel uh, conference room, it's not gonna look that good and for this you need the next setup but when you shoot with your phone take care always of your sound this is super important this microphone can be okay if you stay close to the to the phone but most of the time you need more the most easy to use system that i found for a phone is this dji wireless system this is the receiver and this is the transmitter you will just attach the receiver to your phone with your lightning adapter, put this transmitter to your shirt using a magnetic clip and that's it, you can talk and you can find this system with two transmitters if you want to take an interview or have multiple people in your shot. Now you will have a decent sound using this wireless system, it's gonna be much better than the internal microphone of your phone. We can create a ton of good videos for social media using just our smartphones but sometimes can be tricky, unhandy and hard to do it so you need to be aware of. A budget mirrorless camera with a good lens will improve your video quality a lot. The investment on a camera like this is not going to be that big compared to a full frame professional camera, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars This is under $2,000. But the difference between this and the smartphone, it's huge. In 2023, I still recommend the Sony ZV-10. It's a budget camera, but the 4K is super good. And you can attach a lens like this one, a budget lens, Sigma 16mm f1.4, and you will have a super good image in low light condition. You can make super good videos using this camera. You can stream with it and you can take also super good pictures. First, you can change your lenses and upgrade it all the time. You can use 1.4 lenses, 2.8 lenses. You can have a lot of zoom if you want. This is super important and is small enough to use it with a small, small gimbal if you want. I made a ton of good content using this camera. It's great. I shoot conferences with it, interviews, testimonials, podcasts, a lot of things using this camera. It, it's great. I have a few dedicated videos about this camera, how to build the rig. We go in depth about this camera and how to create the perfect setup. I will put the links in the description and of course, again, at the end of this video. I consider this the perfect intermediate setup between your phone and another, I don't know, 10 bits, 4K, super expensive professional video setup. And for a business, it's perfect. You can create podcasts, short videos, you can create YouTube videos, you can create interviews, testimonials, after movies, you can create a ton of great content for your business or as a freelancer. Now, is it worth to invest in a professional 4K 120 FPS 10 bits camera? If you are a freelancer and if you want to create videos for others, for businesses, yes, you may need to do a lot of slow motion for after movies or maybe some businesses will want to have the 
greatest image when it comes to interviews and corporate shots but this is not for everybody i personally use for businesses and for my client work i use a sony a7s3 with g master lenses with sony professional audio uh, 32 bit flow audio but this is expensive i mean if you don't have clients or if you can afford to invest in this for your business this can be too much but yes if you are a freelancer and if you want to create for others it might be necessary this is a great setup and you can do good videos in any conditions this will be amazing and that slow motion and the full frame image everything will look perfect now if you just want to create some content video content for your social media for a small business is not really necessary you can do it with your phone or using that mirrorless intermediate setup it really depends how serious you are about this video content for social media if you're doing it for fun stay with your phone if you're doing it for your business and you don't want to invest that much do it with your phone or with an intermediate setup but if you want to have perfect videos if you want to put those videos on tvs or make commercials or work for others you may consider to invest in a professional 4k 120 fps 10 bits camera if you want to go in depth with these setups i have dedicated videos about the intermediate setup with zv10 i will put a video here on the screen somewhere and if you want to go in depth with my professional 10 bits setup i'll put another video here because i have videos for every setup here on this channel See you soon.